Oh, you are working. <laughs> That's the prettiest crawl space right there you'll ever see. Got her back feeling done. Rough grade anyway. You have anything to say for yourself? Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we decided to put a potty and a sink down here in the basement. So there's our, so that's the toilet drain, and this is just going to come up and catch the plumbing upstairs. This is the toilet. That's the turlet. That's the upstairs. That's the upstairs. This is the lavatory and drain. Lab okay. And the vent, the vent will yep. go up from there. Yep. Cool. So we'll have, what, two four-inch vents going out the roof, or two three-inch? Mm -hmm. Probably a three and a two. Three and a two. Or maybe a, yeah, three and a two, or, or three and two twos. We'll see what the configuration two, looks two. like. Two-two. Two-two. What kind of plumber are you? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> You'll remember this used to be a crawl space and when it became a basement we decided to put a little potty room in down here beside the stair which coincidentally stacks above the one upstairs. Actually it's not a coincidence I played it that way. So. <laughs> Doing a good job, Artisan Barrett. Nice. <laughs> Trying to get all this dirt out of here. We just want clean, pretty gravel under our concrete. Okay, I like to get a little video of where this stuff is in the slab in case we have to cut it up later. <laughs> so that's about three feet. Now, come down here. Well, I guess we'll know where this is too. But measure to the center of those fittings right there. Off the wall. Okay, that's 32 inches. So you see it slopes. It angles in just a little bit, which is fine. Because we had to hit our sleeve. For one job, where we didn't tape these and we got concrete down in the pipe. Hmm, I wonder what job that was on. That was, <laughs> that was Spring City. Yes. That was your favorite customer. Our favorite customer. Yeah. What, um, not now that I said Spring City, I gotta be careful when I say. <laughs> but, uh, what did we do? We had to. We cut the concrete out underneath the Eric, lavatory, didn't we? Eric took the concrete out. I took the slab out. We had to jackhammer up the concrete and got down into the ground. So what did we learn from that? That you need to get better <laughs> <more> concrete. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get some duct tape and put over the top of these. <laughs> well, those were that one was only sticking up, I think, about a yeah, foot out of the ground. Yeah, the concrete. So. Has it got a kink? Is it coming out? Looks like it's kinked. There, right here. Right here. There, come and grab it. It ain't gonna come out wiggling it. There you go. <laughs> You might notice that we filled our garage all the way up to where the concrete will come up close to the top of the wall. That's because I only want one step coming out of the garage or coming out of the house into the garage. 
that way you don't have to have a landing at the door and you have it gives you more room in your garage right plumber amen okay the plumber gets to say merry christmas for artists and construction merry christmas <laughs> merry christmas artist and bear say it say merry it. christmas <laughs>